Okay, let, let me ask Hopefully you this. I, I get it. So you want to delay. Now, they come out and say, look, the only reason we're doing this is because we were so confused. That's the only reason we, quote, targeted conservatives in the past couple of years in terms of their, when they applied for tax exempt status with all those questionnaires and we kept their applications pending for months and years in some cases. We were just confused about whether these were political entities or non political entities. So we're going to pass this new rule that just says whatever kind of entity you are, you can't do this stuff right before the election. You say that's well, bull and that you totally have evidence they've been, they've been laying the foundation for this crackdown on conservatives for years. We have gotten some emails, and one of the one of the emails from Lois Lerner indicates this is going to be quote offline, meaning not to public view. So they've been working on this for years. So to say this is in response to some confusion is just wrong. It's not the case, and uh, really there was no confusion. I mean, this has been settled law for 50 years. The groups knew what they were doing. This really was brought to the attention of Washington officials in the IRS because of media attention, not because of confusion. The rules are clear, and the groups were following the rules. Mm -hmm. So in other words, uh, the crackdown on the, on the influx, the, the sudden spike in conservative groups applying for tax-exempt status, the crackdown on them only began once you had media attention on how many conservative groups were applying and Senator Chuck Schumer and others who were saying the IRS needs to do something about these groups and suddenly there was confusion at the IRS about them. Let me ask you about this email because I think it's very interesting that you uncovered. Lois Lerner who took the, who pleaded the fifth who would not answer right. questions before Congress and who will not give you her documents was this top IRS official at the center of this scandal. She's now you know right. suddenly retired on the taxpayers dime. She was on the receiving end of an email from someone at Treasury that you uncovered in your committee that says this is too Lois. The person says, hey, I don't know who in your organization at the IRS is keeping tabs on C4s, that's these groups, but since we mentioned potentially addressing them off plan in 2013, I've got my radar up and this seems interesting. She sends an email that talks all about a legal justification for going after such groups, how you can you can bury them in paperwork and you can get all sorts of questions uh, that you demand answers for from these groups. What does this mean that this Treasury person is saying to Lois Lerner at the Senate of the, uh, of the IRS, let's come up with this this plan off plan? Is that just offline? What does it mean? Off plan means not in public view, not disclosed on the public agenda. So it means in secret. And it's very concerning. That's why we need all the emails. We need to get to the bottom of this. We don't have them, and we need to get them. And uh, hopefully that the IRS will cooperate. But what this means is Treasury was involved as well. It's not just in the IRS. And this also means it's centered in Washington. Look, this didn't start in Cincinnati. This wasn't based by a few rogue folks. And, and this is actually more widespread than was first reported. 100% of the groups that were audited were conservative groups, 100%. Yeah. So, look, this is bad from the get-go, and the fact that they're trying to put into a rule before this is even really fully uncovered is just wrong. Congressman Dave Camp, Mr. Chairman, good to see you. Thank you so much. Thanks sir. a lot, Megan.